Uh, everyone, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the community dev room, or welcome back to the community dev room if you were joining us before. Uh, we are now pleased to introduce uh, David Moreno, who will be talking to us about the analysis of developers uh, in uh, the network of developers in the community. So thank you very much for being here, David. Okay. <laughs> So thank you for coming. Thank you to Laura and Leslie for organizing this awesome dev room. And well, let's start. I'm David Moreno. I'm front-end developer at Vitergia. And I'm going to present you how to analyze <coughs> the developer's network in a community. So the first step is to get the data. How we can get our data of our community. So I'm going to introduce you Grimoire Lab. Grimoire Lab is an open source platform, free open source platform uh, for software development analytics. Uh, Grimoire Lab is a, no, is, a, is a platform for data gathering for these data sources like Git, GitHub, Jira, uh, Slack, and so on. For data enrichment uh, like affiliations, uh, merging identities, you know that uh, one person can have an account of Google and an account of Microsoft, but the, this is the same person. So we can merge this, these two identities in, in one. And finally, uh, the data visualization. So we work with Elasticsearch and Kibiter, that is, that is a, soft, a soft fork of Kibana. And we are going to focus on, on the data visualization. So as I said, we work with Elasticsearch and Kibiter, that is a soft fork, a soft fork of Kibana. Can you talk a little bit louder? Okay, 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 sorry. So, <laughs> uh, we are focusing on Kibiter. Again, it's a soft fork of Kibana. <laughs> well, how many of you know Kibana? Okay, that's good. Well, if you know Kibana, uh, you know that this is the typical dashboard. We, you, you can have bar charts, pie charts, tables, line charts, but what's this? Well, it's a network inside Kibana, a network visualization. What? How, we, how can we get these cool networks? Well, there is, a plug, there is a plugin of Kibana that is called Network Plugin that allows to visualize the data in a social network way or a graph la, like the other dashboard. And I, this network plugin is an open source project that I started when I was finishing my degree thesis. You know. And what is the plugin? The plugin has a page, a website, and of course it's allocated in GitHub. And inside the GitHub, you have the installation step. Uh, I mean, if you have a standard Kibana, you can install it following the installation steps that are in the readme of the repository. But if you use Kibiter, the plugin is completely integrated and, inst and installed by default. So the plugin is uh, available also in Kibana 6.1.0 or upper. Um, well, we can build networks like, like this, like this. So we ha we have our Kibana, we have our plugin. Let's build some networks. The data that I'm going to show is the is data uh, that belongs to our project uh, Grimoire Lab. So it's data from Git, and I'm going to build networks, uh, developer networks relating authors with repositories. And so on. I'm, I'm going to show you. So we have our Kibana, our Kibiter. So the steps are click on visualize. Okay, click on visualize again if you have a visualization open. Let's click on create new visualization. Go down to the plugin here in the tab other network. Let's click. Let's select the index pattern, that is the, the data. So we are going to select Git in order to build the developer's network, you know, authors and repositories. <coughs> click on Git. And now I'm going to here. And that's it. Um, 
well, what is the first step? We are going to define the nodes. So let's click on node. Let's click on file. Oh, um, for instance, the first nodes uh, will be authors. Authors. Author name. And why not 500? Let's, let's click on the play button. And now we have our, our nodes, but with a relation. Each node is an author. Well, we have our authors. Let's, uh, let's, ma let's make more nodes that are the, the repositories. So click uh, on add sub buckets, click again on node. And now in the field, we have to select repository. That is called repo name. Maybe 50 repositories for each author. Let's click on play. And now, now yeah, we, 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 we can see a cool network. And if you increase the zoom, you can see that the no, the circles are authors and the boxes are repositories. And it has a relation if the author contributes to the repository. So why this repository has this amount of contributors? Because this repository is Kibiter. And Kibiter is a fork of Kibana. So Kibana has a lot of contributors. Well, we have our our network, and we can see useful information like who is the person, like uh, like is the is the bridge between two ropes, like this. For example, this person is a bridge between these two groups. So we can now how to manage this kind of information, and maybe if you click on a node with a lot of a lot of relationships. Push. You can move it, and you have you you, you 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 know that this person works a lot, or maybe is the most contrib the biggest contributor of the community. You, you know. So we have our network. Let's customize it. Well, what can we do? Okay. Let's change the size of the nodes by a metric. This is a developer's network, so let's change the sizes by the number of commits of each author. So let's click on node sites. Let's add the aggregation count, that is the number of commits. And let's click on play. Working. <laughs> now we have different sizes, and you can, you can see that who is the biggest committer of the community, like, you know, that you, you, you can see that big node, that's, well, so it's the biggest node, and also has has, contribute, has contributed in all the repositories, I think, so maybe he's a little bit stressed, I don't know. So, okay, we have changed the um, node size, so let's change the edge size, the size of the edge. So let's click in Add Metric again and change the size. The same, the number of commits of each author in each repository. Let's click on Count and let's click on Play. Add the changes. Now we have uh, different sizes for the nodes and for the edge. And well, it's a cool network. I, I like it. It's you can now have the distribution of your Git community of your project. Well, but I, got, I, I want to, custom, to customize more. So let's change the color of the nodes. For instance, let's change the color by, its orga by <coughs> their organization. OK? Let's click on Add Soft Bucket. Let's click on the field Node Color, Node Color, and let's select the field org organization, that is org author org name. And let's select one organization per author. Let's click on play. OK, don't worry. <laughs> and 
Let's try again. <laughs> of our name. One. Okay, I can't. <laughs> Maybe it's the memory of the Docker of the Docker instance. So let's try again. <laughs> for or Okay, I think that's yeah. Now we have different colors of uh, in the nodes. Which colors are defined? Well, we have the legend of colors, and you have the different organization and the color of each organization. So you can see that this uh, this node has the same color because this is my team and this beta yeah. So we have the same color. And well. We have our cool network, so I think this is interesting. So I, I have put in the slides a user guide in order to, if you want to try it at home or in order to play, in order to broke my plugin or whatever you want. So you can follow the steps, or steps or later if you want. And there is more options in the plugin in order to customize more the, the network. And you can customize it like this, for instance. A little bit of, of structure of the plugin. This is the structure of the plugin. The plugin is developed in Angular. So if you know <laughs> Angular, there is a controller, there is a template, but it's more technical, so I'm going to pass it. And well, I'm going to show some use cases for this network. And well. The first use case is Git network. Oh, I, I close it. <laughs> okay. The Git network. Is the, that is the same network that I I've just built. So you have an entire dashboard with information of tables, information of bars, pies, but you also has the the network that is useful because you it's easy to know how is the distribution of your community I think it's, it's very clear so if you want to filter in in one field for instance Peter yeah, the plugin will reload and now just just show information about the field <laughs> and but that that's not all so we can we can show information about, for instance, a Slack community. So this is funny because with this kind of network, you can see who is the most talkative person in the community. So, so, I, <laughs> so you know, did you see? Well, did you, did you see the biggest node? So <laughs> he, he probably is the most talkative person in the in the in the community. That is funny because you have. Different sizes, you have different channels. The boxes are channels and the circles are users. And uh, well, in, if you put a task cloud with the most typical <laughs> words that we use, you know, about morning, uh, something. <laughs> yeah. These are emojis, so the reactions. <laughs> And well, but that's that's not so, that's not all. Again, we can analyze uh, Git, Slack, but we also can analyze GitHub, GitLab, GitBucket, Jenkins, uh, Jira, and so on. Um, maybe why not Marvel? Marvel Comics? Why not? Well, this is a network that relates authors of Marvel comics to the comics. <laughs> so you can see <laughs> all the networks with the tag cloud, with the most, you know, Stan Lee is the most important uh, author of Marvel. And well, it's useful information. And you can, if you have data on Elasticsearch and you have a Givana with the plugin, you can build with this, with this, with this network whatever you want. And there is a user guide. There is a repo. Uh, if you have any issue, any pull request, any question, whatever you want, 
please send me an email. Um, send me an email, uh, <laughs> open me a pull request, whatever you want. I really appreciate it. And well, I think I'm done. So if you have any questions, yeah? Yeah, the comics. Yeah, you, uh, you, you, you have to have an Elasticsearch with data because Kibana runs with Elasticsearch. Right, right, right. So this is a plugin for Elasticsearch. But you can, you can use Grimoire Lab, any, any data, yeah. But you can use Grimoire Lab tools and you can upload your data. Okay. <laughs> okay, any other question? Yeah? Um, I'd like to ask about interpretation of those labs. Okay. The knowledge of the graphs. Yeah. Okay, what's the question? You produce this type of graphs, uh -huh. right? What do, you, what do you actually know once you produce these graphs? What actually know? When they produce the graphs. Oh, sorry? What do they learn from producing the graphs? Well, <laughs> it depends on the data, you know. If you have, <laughs> for instance, I built a network with authors and repositories. Uh, you, you can know who is the biggest contributor, but if you use Slack, the most talkative, you use, use a ticket tool, who is the ticket who are still open. So it depends on the data. But if you have any question, please send me an email. And Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. This is always, I understand the question, because it's always a, a double edged sword. Yeah. In tennis. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can understand how people function and be beneficial to them, or you can also observe the meditative consequences that are. Yeah, of course, but so yeah. I think the primacy of the question, asking what I want to learn, it might be an uh, important uh, starting point rather than putting it at the end. Uh, making the knowledge process dependent on the data. Maybe starting by asking what I want to learn mm -hmm. uh, can be a constructive approach to the process of. Yeah, but I don't understand how is the meaning of. It's what is the meaning of? I don't think there is any uh, software that is completely multi. multi not, it's never a completely open possibility. You always make choices. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or the use case, or what people do with it. What it is used for would be interesting to me, you know, because it would, I think it, it probably will influence the development and the, and the contributions of uh, the project. Yeah, but. Uh, it's not made to, to watch people, it might be made to reinforce the community. Yeah, yeah, of course. Community. Yeah, this is the aim, this is the goal, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's funny to know to to see well, biggest, the biggest node, but maybe you know maybe the biggest node of the developers network is the CTO of the company and has to manage all the repository, you know. So it's more like an overview of your community in terms of the Git data or Slack data or whatever you want. So. Any other questions? Yeah. So, uh, do you consider building a data set from uh, the data you have? Because, for example, if you are analyzing so many projects, maybe if you build a data set, you will be able to learn from, uh, maybe you will uh, notice that there is a pattern in all, uh, in, in all the communities, it's especially for researchers, because this kind of information can be useful to, uh, to maybe find new patterns in networks. Uh, in yeah. 
Ah, ok. Sorry. Eh, yeah, do you, yeah. <laughs> uh, you mean uh, to find pat patterns in the in the graph without different communities, no? If you save all the, the projects you are analyzing and yeah. big data sets, maybe it will be uh, useful for us? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask where... <laughs> So you you can you, you can build uh, you you can save different da different projects data in one index of elastic set. This is more technical because it's related to elastic set. And now in Kibana you can take this index with all the data and uh, build a network like this. So it, I think it's more easy to see a, a pattern with merging all the data in one index. Like if you know uh, elastic sets, like an, uh, like aliases, you know, maybe it's things like this. But if you got to any question or more technical question, send me an email. We are in in the H building. Uh, we have an stand in our lab. So if you got if you want more information, please come with me. And you also can spot the orange jack. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Welcome. Cool. Well, have time for one more last question. It's a short question. One more? Okay. Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you choose the segment of the timeline that you're looking at? In the yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, but in Kibana, you have a time picker in the top, left, in the top right corner that you can select uh, the data from last five years, last 20, de last 20 days. You can, you can manage it. So, okay. Look. Look, I'm going to show you. Yeah, we are looking uh, last two years, but you can change it for last 90 days. So the dashboard will be refreshed, and now we have the last 90 days of, of the data. You're welcome. <coughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.